So here we are at about 12.30 a.m. in the central time zone. I'm in Minnesota. A lot of people are freaking out about the prospect of Donald Trump becoming president. And as I've always said, when I'm wrong about certain things, I will let you know. Now, in terms of Kamala Harris winning the presidency, I'm not wrong about that yet. In spite of the fact that some people might be giving up on that, we've got the blue wall that we have to deal with in some other states. The presidential election is not over. But where I was wrong was, first of all, I said the polling was inaccurate. It looks like at this point, unless we see something different with the blue wall, that the polling was accurate. That surprises me. Secondly, with all that's come to pass with Donald Trump, all the things he's said, all the things he's done, logic would tell you that with Republicans pulling away from him without the unity in his own party, that would cause Kamala to win in a big way. Well, clearly, if Kamala wins, that's not going to happen. I don't, it, it defies all logic that somebody would still vote for Donald Trump when we've seen all these horrific things. I don't want people to get upset yet because we really got to see what the blue wall and the other remaining states are. When this all started, it was mostly red states. This was what they call the red mirage. We saw it with Joe Biden and uh, we're likely to see it here with Kamala Harris. But I didn't really think we'd have to worry about that. I thought some uh, places that were red would flip blue because of all the horrific things that have gone down with Donald Trump. But that's not what we've seen. So I was wrong about a few things. I'm going to reserve saying I was wrong about Kamala winning until we know exactly what happens. And we may not know that till I don't know, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, something like that. But here's the deal. Kamala, I believe, still wins. But if she doesn't win, what are you going to do? First of all, what does that say about this country? It says a majority of this country is for fascism, is for racism, is for, is for taking away uh, constitutional rights against women. That's fucking disturbing. That's absolutely disturbing. I don't want to believe that to be the case, but what we've seen so far would suggest that. Again, we have to wait till the, the results come in from all the other places. This has been a nightmare the last couple of years dealing with Donald Trump. And if by some unbelievable chance that Donald Trump does become president, what do we do then? Do we cry? Do we curl up? Do we pout? No, we don't fucking do that. We fight. Here's the thing. Donald Trump's made a lot of promises, and all the things that he says he's going to do will never come to pass because he's ridiculous. He doesn't. Personally, I don't think Donald Trump will remain president for a year if he becomes president, and I'm not convinced of that at all. We saw this with Joe Biden. We will see it uh, with Kamala Harris. I truly believe that, and I think that's important. Now, one place we know the Democrats lost was control of the Senate. Now, that isn't surprising. We had hopes that it would go Democrat, but Ted Cruz and some of these other dumb fucks still win. That's fucking Texas and Florida for you with Rick Scott. But understand this, in two years, there'll be more Republicans up for re-election, and that will put the Democrats in a better spot to replace them. I'm not as worried about the Senate. I am concerned about the House. If the House can be won by the Democrats, Hakeem Jeffries becomes one of the most powerful people in Washington, D.C. Without the House complying with the Senate, nothing can really get done, or at least nothing that is outrageous. So here's the deal. We're sitting here at 1230 Central Time. We don't know who's going to win the presidential election. A lot of people out here are weeping and crying and saying, oh, my God, Kamala's lost. We don't know that yet. We honestly don't know that yet. And if Kamala wins, that's a great thing. I presume she will win. But if she doesn't, that doesn't mean anything's fucking over. That just means we've got to fight even harder over the next couple of years. I don't know what's going to happen. And that's what's surprising to me. And that's where I was wrong. I thought this would be an easy one for Kamala. But apparently there's enough people out there that have trouble with women, women. <laughs> 
a woman, a woman of color, being the President of the United States. I'm anxious to see how many people turned out because I predicted that there would be a bigger turnout than there was in 2020. I don't know what the totals are. If there wasn't a big turnout, bigger turnout than in 2020, that defies logic too. So let's just all wait and see what happens. And if the worst happens, we just decide what we do next. There's no reason to cry and whine about it. There's a lot of things that can occur here. So let's just wait it out and see what happens. And then when we know what's going to happen, then we'll decide what we're going to do.